doing? Remember me? Hey, hey, hey. hey. how hey, you been? Good, good to see you. you. Okay, okay. You? I'm great, fantastic. So y'all set? I'm set, ready yeah. to go. Well, season two, so what you looking for this season? Oh, I always like a great new product, so, um, but maybe a little change it up this year. So uh, maybe something, uh, something totally out, off the wall. Do you think that the entrepreneurs are gonna be any different this year? I heard there was something like 35,000 people this year that they screened from, so I think the quality is going to be very top. Sounds very like the bids might get a little higher then, too. I think that, yeah, I think there's more established businesses that have more sales going, and so higher priced uh, deals probably. What have you learned by watching these other guys operate for a season that you're going to use uh, this time around to outbid them? Well, right, folks, we're gonna start I, I, taping I studied some of the eight tapes. Or nine they minutes. were very, eight or nine minutes. doing so very, uh, very heavy duty negotiation. Uh, so I'm going to be in there negotiating. What are you going to use against them this time around? Well, I'm not going to let them outbid me this year. Uh, Didn't so, happen very much last year. No, 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 but um, not as many deals with them. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna be the, the king of the, the sharks, maybe. <laughs> So, what are your big success stories from the last season? Well, Cactus Jack, the Body Jack, has been one of the big uh, winners. We're, we have an infomercial now. It's going to be on a, on a global bunch of shopping channels all around the world. We just launched at a big trade show. Um, that's one of the big uh, the big hits. Uh, we had several others that are that are coming along too. But all I love fitness. Good. That's all always that's always good, as good we business. Well, you yourself, right? You're a fitness aficionado on your own, right? Uh, I stay in shape, you know. But I've, I've been selling fitness for twenty some years, yeah. so it's it's it's, it's an ever green category so um, you know people always want to lose weight be in shape get better abs all that kind of stuff you yeah know, so. no matter what their the economy is doing people always need to stay in shape well they need to but see what happens they buy it they don't use it we come back the next year sell them again you know? <laughs> so that's why it's evergreen <laughs> for real you're thinking like a shark so <laughs> the same thing twice in two different forms you've made the money twice that's why weight loss is so so good every January everybody buys another weight loss program so you know it's, that's our that's our fitness season by the way so but is there any kind of product that does especially well in the recession? Lower price products are doing very well. I mean, why did the Snuggie do $400 million? Um, there's a comfort product, you know, so that kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of product uh, is a big hit during uh, the recession. Why is it worth your time to take uh, out of your schedule to come here, sit in the tank, and listen to all these ideas? Not all of them are winners. No, but it, you know, in my business, we look at thousands to get one, and so you know, here, I, you know, they've already looked at the thousands to bring me, you know, those top ten or twelve that I can take a look at today, uh, which is amazing. So they've done all the screening for me, so it's it's a pretty good opportunity for me. Yeah, you can't really lose. Absolutely. Any advice for someone who was maybe a great product they're developing at home, putting a lot of their own money into it, and kind of reaching a dead end? What do you think they ought to do? Well, you know, they got to protect it, and they should find a partner that can help them take it to the next step. If they don't have the money, I mean, most of the people that are there have a great idea. They don't have the cash, mm -hmm. so find somebody that can mentor them to take it to the next step. Yeah, which I guess is sometimes where the sharks come in. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think, but there's people on a local level in almost every market that you can go to for advice. You know, there's different ways to start. There's different invention groups on a local First level shot, that have minutes, mentoring people and things like that. So organizations, associations, um, actually inventor associations all over the place, so yeah. if you have a product. When people come in and say, you know, I really just need a business partner, you need someone to help me out. Do you smell blood in the water when they say something like that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's why we're the sharks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess you're probably pretty hungry. You're about to uh, get your first batch of bait. Good luck. It's been a year, so I'm yeah. ready, okay? All right, hey, thank Good you. Good to see you. Good to see you, you fine. Thanks.